Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a butterfly ball. You can see where it gets its name. Looks like a perky little butterfly. It's a really cute, easy bow to make. Today I'm going to be making a medium sized bow. So I've got my ribbon and it's cut 24 inches long. Uh, and it's 7 eighths of an inch wide ribbon. And this is grass green ribbon. There's other measurements in the manual for smaller or larger sized bows. Okay, so first you're just going to cut your ribbon. And go ahead and heat seal the edges so that they won't fray. I'm just using a lighter to do this. Just sealing them. Okay, then I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to go ahead and make a little crease right there at the halfway point so I'll be able to tell where it is. If you crease it pretty good, then you don't really need to mark it, but if you want to, you can mark it. I've marked this with a black pen to help you be able to see where my middle point is. You can use a fabric marker um, if you're worried about it, or rubbing alcohol will take this out later, but you shouldn't, um, you shouldn't see it anyway. Okay, so now I'm going to take the top of my ribbon. I'm going to lay my ribbon out vertically. I'm going to take the top of my ribbon, and I'm going to bring it right over the center like this, kind of making that awareness ribbon look like when we make our knots. Just going to put it right over that middle mark right there, just like that. I'm going to take the bottom ribbon, and I'm going to do the same thing, going the other way, just take it and I'm going to put it right over the top like that, completing. So now I've got this figure eight. All right, now these loops, if I want to have, if I want to make them fatter like this, it's going to make a little bit uh, less perky bow. If I want to bring them in more narrow, then my loops are going to be more perky and pointed. So you can kind of choose on that. Okay, I want to check and make sure that these loops look even and adjust if I need to do any adjusting right here to get even loops. I'm going to make mine a little bit narrow like this. Okay, then I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to take the middle point of this loop and I'm going to bring it to the middle. I'm going to go ahead and hold with my finger through all the layers. Now I want to check my two loops here and make sure they look like the same size and if I need to do any adjusting looks good. I'm going to do the same thing with my bottom loop. Take it from, take the middle point, push it into the center like that. They're overlapping slightly in the center. I'm going to hold that with my finger and I'm going to look at all four of my loops and make sure that they look even. And if I need to adjust any, I can go ahead and adjust. I think that these look good. Okay, now I just need to hold through all of the layers of ribbon, and this is what I've got. Now, um, the method that I'm going to use to crease, you can use wire if you have a different method you like for creasing your bow. I'm going to take my large gripper clip, and I'm going to hold it right down the middle here to hold it in place. Now I can see that this needs to be just adjusted slightly, this little loop here. Okay, okay so now I'm going to take um, a needle and thread, and I'm using embroidered floss, two strands of it, or you can use quilting thread, or if you use regular thread, you want to double it, you want a strong thread. This has got a knot in it. And I'm going to start from the back side, and I'm going to push my needle up, starting at the bottom center, and I'm going to go ahead and make a gathering stitch all the way up the center of the bow. The scripper clip just helps to hold it in place while I make these stitches. Um, if you have a different way, you can also use a different method that you like to crease, you can. You can use craft wire if you'd like. This is just um, the method that I prefer. Alright, so just all the way up the center there, and when I finish, I'm just going to make sure that I come A little bit at one at the end. I'm going to make sure that I push up through the top and end up coming here. All right, I just got to slip it through those teeth, and take off that clip. Now you can see I've got a gathering stitch all the way up, and I'm just going to take that uh, thread and I'm going to pull it, which is going to make my crease 
right in the middle. I can go ahead and look at my loops. After I make that crease, I'm going to take that thread and wrap it several times right around the center. And I'm going to go on the back side and tie that off. that knot a few times create a knot. I always go back down through to secure that thread and clip that off. Okay, there is uh, my basic butterfly bow. Now I'm ready to go ahead and finish this off with a center knot and a, and a clip on the back. I'm just going to go ahead and use my basic knot number one that I showed you in previous video. Just make that awareness ribbon. Take that back side ribbon and push it through the loop. Bring it together, creating that knot. I'm going to put a little dab of hot glue on the very center of the front of this bow. And I'm going to take my, my knot. And Push it right into that glue, like this. Okay, then I'm going to turn it to the back side. And I'm going to attach my alligator clip. It's been lined so that it won't slip. I'm going to put some glue on that. Attach it to the back. I can see that my ends here, I'm going to trim off a little bit there of my knot ends. And I'm going to put a little glue on this end of this knot ribbon. Open up my clip, wrap it, press it into place underneath my clip. I'm going to, I have this one last uh, here, I'm going to go ahead and heat seal that edge just to make sure. I'm going to go ahead and heat seal that edge just to make sure it doesn't fray. I'm going to attach glue to it. Again, open up that clip, take that knot end, wrap it around the other one, push it down. Now if I turn it over, I've completed my butterfly bow. There you go.